Hey, have you been walking around your neighborhood lately, checking out the area architecture, thinking about how it could be reimagined? Well, I'm Mr. Jeff, and if you remember from our last VBDL video, we talked about Austrian artist and architect Frederick Hundewasser. And Frederick Hundewasser had colorful, fantastical buildings in his art. And, and in this Explorer, we're going to get inspired from his amazing work and try to incorporate his ideas and style into our local Southwest Michigan architectural past. First of all, I'd like to thank Karen Jensen from our Decatur branch for researching and finding some excellent archival examples to help us with this activity. Karen found specific buildings from each branch location, and that's part of what we're going to use. So, so when you pick up your take and make bag, which I have right here, you'll find a, your own photocopy of a, an area building that's from this area. And you're going to also find a copy of a uh, standard door and window. And so your challenge is to rethink the surface of your building and trying to draw on top of this using markers, colored pencils, pens, whatever you have around the house. Think about the colors, the shapes, and perhaps how it can be changed to another purpose from its original design. So you're going to make your own designs from this. So let me show you how we're going to do that. First of all, this is one that um, I know if you recognize this building, but this is the old picture of the Pawpaw Jail. So I wonder if you could reimagine this into a whole different type of purpose for building. One of the things that you'll notice, all these copies are black and white, and with the black and white, some areas might be really dark, and some areas are going to be lighter. My suggestion to you, because you're going to be using colored pencils and markers and whatever other kind of colors that you might have at your house, uh, you might want to think about uh, using certain colors in certain areas. For example, if an area is really dark, like this roof and the windows, you might want to use a lighter color, like uh, a white or a silver. Those work out really nice for those areas. Another idea that you have is to even lighten that area up before you even start to add color to it. So what I've done here, I, I took a heavier piece of watercolor paper and I just took and scored and cut the edges so they're a little bit curved and I added some notches here of some curved shapes here. If you remember from the other video, Hundewasser does not like straight lines. So what we can do is maybe take a curved shape here and I just placed that right here. You can take an eraser and go over that dark area to remove some of that ink that's dark ink that's been built up. That way, if you have a lighter area, it's easier to, to put a color on top of that. So you can use a little bit more of a medium color here, but still not, not super dark. So that could be an, an idea for you. This is the same one that I have started to work on here. So I'll give you a little example. I took a fine uh, marker, pen marker, and went over to get some shapes on here that were sort of Hundewasser inspired. One of the things that is kind of typical in his work is the onion tower. And so on top of this chimney, I added this onion tower. And when you're adding color, uh, think in terms of using more than just one color. I used a yellow and a gold together on here. This one, I'm using some pink on here, and you can uh, simply kind of fill in some color uh, lines, area shapes with a color, but then maybe adding another pink in here too, uh, just to have a little bit more of a uh, interesting combination of colors here. So color on top of color works kind of nice. Now here's one that I did that is, is finished, and this one, the whole building has been done. This was an old schoolhouse, and you can kind of tell there's a little plaque here that probably had the date and the name on it right here. But I decided to use some lighter colors, and again, I used the pink in the, most of the background of the, of the house. Then I, like Hundewasser, I tried to emphasize around the, the windows and the doors, so I used um, 
different colors. I, I drew this uh, kind of a Huntervasser-esque shape around the, the windows and the doors. I added some pattern here with other colors. Repeated some lines here uh, to kind of have some movement with that. And as you can see, in the darker areas, I used a white pencil, and in some areas I even used a silver pencil to, to kind of add a little bit more of a lighter reflective color to that. Here's another onion tower on this one too, plus it's just a fun kind of squiggle thing on that uh, uh, exhaust tower here. So, what do you think? Could you reimagine the purpose for this building from a schoolhouse to um, some kind of fun playhouse maybe? So, some other ideas I'm going to uh, share with you too are with the, uh, the other paper that we're going to give to you has a door and a window on it. So, in those cases, uh, you can cut these up into two separate pieces or keep it all together in one. But think of, in terms of using a Huntervasser idea and surrounding the door and the area with some very organic and colorful, playful shapes. So on here, these are a couple examples. This one on the door, I use those kind of rhythmic lines again to just have some movement and uh, different way the, the waves kind of go in and out around the door. Plus I use some colors, some cool colors here with the purple and then some warm colors with the pink and orange and yellow. And this one, I then, I after I was finished, I put it on a piece of foam cord so it, it I had a little bit of depth to it, and then I put it on a mat board and into a frame. So you can finish yours off that way. Another one that's a little different, I was looking at something that could be more local. So I was inspired by the pawpaw leaf. And so I took parts of pawpaw leaves, the, more the ends of it, and I had those coming out from the sides. I did a couple different, about three colors on the blue on the window itself. And again, this is marker, colored pencil, and a little bit of a detail with a, with a ball pen there, or the uh, uh, black pen. And then I, some vines going around the bottom and the top. So, explorers, that's going to be your challenge for this next explore local architecture. Think in terms of uh, adapting some Huntervasser ideas to your uh, old photograph that we're going to give you, plus then the standard window and door. You can think, imagine what he might do or what you might like to do for uh, the decoration around that. So, thank you, explorers, and we'll see you next time from VBDL. And remember, reimagine your world. See you next time.